What is an example of a good self-help habit? The answer might be drink a glass of lemon water, practice mindfulness, keep a journal, exercise, less screen time. But it can get to the point where there's so many things out there to try that you can't possibly do each and every one of them. Therefore, the question then becomes which habits will have the greatest impact? And one possible answer is photography. One of the best habits any of us can get into is getting outside regularly. A study in 2020 showed that as little as 10 minutes in a natural setting can help us feel happier and lessen the effects of both physical and mental stress. And what better way to do that than to get outside with a camera? If, like me, you find walks and jogging a bit monotonous, then it can be much more enjoyable to take your camera out and get some photographs instead. Landscape photography is one of the best ways for anyone to get started. Also, as you begin to build up your equipment, the weight of lenses and tripods will turn a leisurely stroll into much more of a workout. If you get out regular enough with your camera, then you can get to a point where you don't need a gym membership at all. Creativity is essential for all of us to some extent. Even if you're someone who doesn't see themselves as a creative person, then there'll be some part of you that enjoys being creative. The psychologist Abraham Maslow created a hierarchy of needs where he set out all of the needs we have as human beings. At the bottom of this hierarchy are some of those basic needs like food and shelter, but at the top is this need for self-actualization, which essentially just means to make the most of oneself. And this can include creativity. Photography is one of these things where there's an infinite number of ways to be creative with it, and you don't need any fancy equipment to do that. In addition, if you're like me and you're not good with drawing or painting, then photography is a great way to be creative, because it doesn't take the same kind of skill and that hand-eye coordination. Instead, a good eye for composition is half the battle. That way, photography can scratch that creative itch, even if you were never good at art class back in school. Finally, there are several mental benefits to photography. Firstly, it can give you some escapism. Getting out with your camera can help you detach yourself from the daily grind, which all of us need to some extent. Getting time to myself is vitally important to me, and getting out with my camera is one of the best ways for me to recharge my batteries. Not only that, but I get a great sense of achievement when I'm able to capture a great photograph, especially if it's one I've really had to work on and wait for the conditions to be just right. Another overlooked benefit of photography is the balance of both the creative and the technical. You have to use that creative part of your mind to see the best composition or combination of colours. But at the same time, you have to understand the technical workings of your camera and photo editing software. In this sense, photography does a great job of stimulating both the left and right side of our brains. Give it a go for yourself and let me know how you get on in the comment section below. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, I'll put a link to some other videos which I think you might also enjoy as well.